party. We are range pole men. Front tape man and rear tape man. Hello students! Today, I will instruct my survey party to do the taping over smooth level ground. Before anything else, let us go to the course where they are going to survey. This is the place. The field must be flat and level for the taping over smooth level ground possible. Let's start! Instrument and accessories, range pole, measuring tape, and marking pins. Procedure A. Mark the end points by a marker pin if it is on soft ground and designate it as end points A and B. A range pole man holds the pole vertically and steadily during the entire taping procedure at B to keep the complete taping process aligned and straightened. The tape is stretched out on the ground on the straight path along A to B where the zero end is held ahead. The rear tape man is responsible for giving the signal to the front tape man if his path is straight while the front tape man is responsible to pull the tape out once the table is aligned already. The front tape man gets a pin and sticks it vertically in the ground exactly opposite the zero meter mark of the tape. Your tape man holds one pin and the rest of the pin are held by front tape man. Both the front and the rear tape man lift the tape simultaneously and move forward along the line AB to measure the next tape length. By now, the rear tape man holds one marking pin which signifies one tape length. The procedure 4 to 6 is repeated to complete the next tape length measurement. Make sure that the rear tape man pulls the pin before lifting the tape to move on to the next tape length. The rear tape man holds two marking pins to connote two tape lengths have been measured. Repeat the same process until all the pins being held by the front tape man have been used up which signifies one tally. After a tally has been accomplished, the rear tape man returns all the 10 pins to the front tape man to proceed at measuring the length of the course. Repeat the same procedures if more than one tally is needed. The survey continues and at last, Upon reaching point B, the partial length must be measured accurately at the centimeters by the rear tape man while the front tape man is holding the zero mark at B and both them are holding the tape dot. The number of small pebbles in the rear tape man's pocket now indicates the number of tallies made and the number of pins in his possession indicates the number of additional tape lengths. The data gathered is recorded. To compute for the total distance, get the total number of full tape lengths and then add the partial tape length to the product of the length of one full length tape and the total number of full tape lengths. To compute for the main distance, determine the sum of total distance then divide the sum by the number of triangles. To get the relative precision, determine the probable error of the mean, then divide by mean distance, and reduce the numerator to unity to determine the relative precision. And that's all for taping over level ground. Instruments and accessories, range pole, measuring tape, chalk or marking pins, and bomb bumps. Procedure B. For the taping over an even ground, the same course is measured, but this time, the tape will be unsupported by the ground and must be held an eye-level distance above the ground. Both the rear and the front tape mend should hold a plumb line over the center of the hub. Note that the front tape man must hold his plumb line an arm length away from his body for the rear tape man to clearly see if it is aligned in the range pole at B. 
Once the rear tape man approves the alignment, the front tape man holding the zero mark pulls the tape out and drops plumb bob on the ground. This will mark the ground with a dent to guide the front tape man where he must place his marking pin. Make sure that the rear tape man pulls the pin before lifting the tape to move on to the next tape length. If all the marking pins held by the front tape man have been used up, it signifies one tally, meaning one tally is equal to 10 tape lengths. This is to be done continuously until point B is reached. Note that the partial length must also be measured as in procedure A. The course is measured back and forth to complete the number of trials required by the professor. Remember that 10 marking pins is equal to 1 tally and 1 tally is equal to 1 pebble. To compute for the total distance, get the total number of full tape lengths and then add the partial tape length to the product of the length of one full tape length and total number of full tape lengths. To compute for the mean distance, determine the sum of total distance, then divide the sum by the number of trials. To get the relative precision, determine the probable error of the mean, then divide by mean distance, and reduce the numerator to unity to determine the relative precision. That's all for taping over an even ground.